again, what can I say, fantastic result. Turned over Man United, clean sheet. You know what, when I saw the team sheet, I just screamed my head off because it was way too attacking for me. You know me, I'm a very, um, I like the great defending, I like defensive shape, and I like midfielders who track back. When I saw that, I went, oh my God, what are you doing? You're going to let Popper run the midfield like he did in the FA Cup, mm. and then, you know, Fred was going to make those little runs. But, in the, but what, what really impressed me is that we scored at the right time. Great goal by Jack, and I think the wind um, deceived um, the high I don't up. know, was it the wind or was it the positioning no. as, as, as well of, um, of their keeper, De Gea? Because he seemed to be going the other way, then he came back. I mean, mm. it was a great strike. Oh, it was a fantastic shot. And, you know, Grant Jack has got that in his locker, mm. but he, he just doesn't do that enough. And I think he's probably got the disease that a lot of our players have got, like they try to walk into the net. Mm. But today, I must say, I'll especially mention that's to go to my man, National Monreal. You know, he's a great yeah. favourite of mine, but I thought he was immense today he at the left back position. And I think AZ Mateman and I was fantastic as well. Gets a lot of criticism. He wasn't my first choice to play him right back, mm. but today he was fantastic. He won us a penalty as well. And today I was really, really pleased. Mm. Above all, obviously, I like, the, I like good football as well, but our work rate was just fantastic. Mm. Aaron Ramsey worked his nuts off today, mm. especially off the ball. Socrates was immense. You know, like I said he was winning everything against um, mm. Lukaku. Koscielny was like exquisite with getting the ball out. Mesut worked his nuts off. Mm. You know, my biggest criticism of Mesut mm. is not his work rate. But today, his work rate was absolutely fantastic. Mm. And, and Aubameyang, to, to step up and take that penalty after what happened last week. I mean, I was worried when I see him hold what the ball. For? Because, I, for? because I was thinking to myself, let, let Lacazette take it. No, Lacazette no, no, take no, he's a penalty taker. They're both penalty takers. At the end of the day, they're professional footballers. One of the reasons why they've made it, and a lot of people who've played football haven't made it. A lot it. of players would have bottled it, no, wouldn't no, they? No, not at all, not at all. You've got to realise that footballers, right, the reason why they've made it is because not only do they have to deal with physical, um, you know, like I said, um, people trying to get on their back, you know, bad tackles and everything. They also mm. got to deal with the mental side of the game. And the mental side of the game is having to play well when, you, when you've been dropped and having to come back after a, a, you know, like a bad performance like he had on Thursday and having to come back from a penalty loss where, where he probably feels responsible for the fact that we um, didn't win the game on um, last week. But he ain't responsible. The fact of the matter is, is that it's football and he's come back. You know, that's a good thing about um, Aubameyang missing that penalty. He had two games to get himself back, in the, back on the bright and he did today. And that was really fantastic. But everyone's saying top four. You know me, Robbie. <laughs> the reason why you got me here is because you want some rationality. And I'm going to yeah. tell you guys, I'm going to be very boring. One game at a time. I repeat, one game at a time. Boring. Do not, do not play. <laughs> do not play Leicester, Burnley and all these games yeah. before, you, games. before you have game, all right? Watford the next away, game, yeah. no, what for the way? Forget what for the way. The next game, Wolves after, away. next yeah. game is Ren. We are going to beat Wren comfortably, all right? Do not be behind this bullshit about oh, what a great side Wren were. They beat us simply for two reasons. One, we went down to 10 men, and two, because we couldn't cope with playing that at 10 men. I fully expect us to win comfortably on Thursday. That is our next most important game. And after Wren, it's Newcastle. One game at a time. Stop jumping to gum, Arsenal fans. You do that a lot. You seem to forget our away form isn't great. We've got some tricky away games, which means Unai Emery has to um, rotate, get his tactics spot on the way from home, learn to play on the counter-attack and learn to cope with teams coming on to us with pressure. Mm. Now, some of the teams we're going to play won't be able to do that, but Leicester will be able to do that. Wolves are a fantastic side. You saw that in Chelsea today. Mm. And obviously, you obviously Burnley, they've got a manager who gets his tactics spot on, So, which means we need to start, forget about Tottenham, they they got they got their game their run of games. Forget about Man United now. Think about ourselves. Okay. We think about ourselves, then we'll see at the end of the season. But let's not break protections because you don't know what happens in football. Funny, as Greavesy says, football's a funny old game.